I'm the scary female Eagle Scout you've been warned about. I'm a transgender woman who earned my Eagle Scout rank when I was viewed as a boy and have since transitioned to being a girl. Here I am getting my Eagle Scout badge. Aren't I adorable? And female Eagle Scouts will soon become way more common as the Boy Scouts of America officially announced that they will let girls along with transgender boys into the program and change their name from Boy Scouts of America to Scouts BSA. But why should girls be Boy Scouts? I've seen many of my fellow scouts take issue with letting girls into the program, like Will Witt from PragerU, who decided to make this video. For 105 years, the Boy Scouts have stood with their values and stood with their morals, but are now caving to the radical, politically correct leftist agenda. As an Eagle Scout myself, I find this to be a terrible change that the Boy Scouts are making. Clearly, my fellow Eagle Scout has opinions, so I want to open up a thoughtful response to his concerns. What's his first criticism? When you add girls into the equation of Boy Scouts, you are taking away everything that the program is about. Okay. So what is the program about? The Boy Scouts was originally created by Lieutenant General Robert Stephenson Smith Baden-Powell. That's a mouthful. We Scouts just call him Sir Lord Baden-Powell. Baden-Powell fought in the Second Boer War. During this time, he found many troops were dying simply because they didn't know basic survival skills. He wrote a military book as a handbook on tying knots, building fires, and other basic skills. When he returned to jolly old England, he found tons of young boys loved his books. He wrote Scouting for Boys, a version of the books tailored for young boys, and he later went on to found the Boy Scouts. The first goal of scouting was to provide basic skills to people to prevent them from dying in the military. It wasn't necessarily boy specific, but as boys were the only ones allowed to be in and, you know, die in the military, of course they were the primary audience. But Will says, Being a part of the Boy Scouts is about developing yourself from a boy into a man through other male role models that are there within the troop. According to the official Scouts website, the BSA's goal is to, quote, train youth in responsible shit citizenship, character development, and self-reliance through participation in a wide range of outdoor activities, educational programs, and, at older age levels, career-oriented programs in partnership with community organizations. It sounds like the goal of the program is to be a 1. Good citizen 2. A good person 3. Be self-reliant and 4. Love the outdoors. Those sound like things that boys and girls should be. Just listen to the Scout Oath which all of the scouts like me have memorized. On my honor, I will do my best to do my duty to God and my country, to obey the scout laws, to help other people at all times, keep myself physically strong, mentally awake, and morally straight. It's the one time I'm actually straight about anything. All of the merit badges, all of the camping, I mean, everything about the Boy Scouts is tailored to being about boys. Camping and merit badges do seem tailored to boys, but the purpose of those programs was to get them to join the Scouts by, according to the original 1911 BSA handbook, quote, appealing to interests which are universal among boys. The method is summed up in the term Scoutcraft, and in a combination of observation, deduction, and handiness, or the ability to do things. I like to do things. Because boys were interested in those activities, camping and merit badges became the methods to fulfill the goal of the scouts to create good citizens. Girls like camping and scout craft too. In 1907, when Baden-Powell created scouting, girls took it up as well. So many in fact, that when a ton of girls came to the Boy Scout Rally in 1909, Baden-Powell worked with his sister to create the British Girl Guides, the British precursor to the American Girl Scouts. I mean, it's called Boy Scouts. It's in the name. I mean, not anymore. The name's changed, so uh, not a valid argument. Boys cannot be boys when girls are around. I'm sorry, I don't know if that's sexist or whatever, but it's just true. When you have boys who are surrounded by girls, they are more worried about what the girls are thinking about them than actually male activities and becoming a man. Huh, maybe that is sexist. Hmm. At any rate, there aren't any conclusive studies that prove that separating boys and girls helps them perform better. In fact, according to Dr. Elise Elliott, an associate professor of neuroscience, quote, most data shows that the more boys and girls have an opportunity to interact and have the same opportunities in general, the more similar they end up. Learning together gives everyone a level, unbiased as possible playing field. But hey, let's say you're right. Boys just can't be boys with girls around. And why is that? Is it because girls and boys are so separated in so many aspects, so girls become this mythical figure in a boy's mind that they can't relate to and view as an other because they don't interact with them often. What if there was a program where boys and girls could interact together, like uh, doing activities outdoors, so they could see each other as comrades, pals, and equals instead of distractions, threats, or objects? I wonder where a program like that could come from.
If girls want to be a part of Boy Scouts, then they can just join the Girl Scouts. And if that program's not good enough for them, I'm sorry, but it's not the Boy Scouts' problem to fix your program or allow you into the Boy Scouts program because you don't like what you already have. That is actually a valid criticism. The girls do have a program called the Girl Scouts. The Boy Scouts don't have a responsibility to save or improve the Girl Scouts program, but they have had a hand in preventing it from improving. According to researcher Leslie Paris, the first Chief Scout Executive James West rallied against the Girl Scouts believing that girls having a similar program would cause people to question Boy Scouts masculinity. Hashtag toxic masculinity. West helped create the Campfire Girls, which followed stricter gender roles and stole membership from the Girl Scouts. The Girl Scouts almost had to merge with the Campfire Girls in 1912, but founder Gordon Lowe refused. The Girl Scouts ultimately won, and the Campfire Girls became gender neutral in 1975. Ironic, isn't it? You attempt to stop the Girl Scouts from having a healthy program that includes camping and outdoor activities, then tell them that it's their problem the program isn't as good as the BSAs? That's kind of messed up. Also, just because you don't have a responsibility not to do something doesn't mean that you can't. One doesn't necessarily imply the other. It's a logical fallacy. But we should help others because we should be good citizens just as the Scouts wants you to be. The girls can create a new program that's more suited to what they actually want to do. But a program does exist to let them do what they want to do. It's called Scouts BSA. Why not just join that one instead of creating a whole new program that will take years to fund and have the power and impact of the Scouts BSA? If it Ever will. They don't have to hijack us. Hijacking implies taking control. No one wants to usurp control of the Scouts. They just want to join in. I'm sure that the Girl Scouts aren't about to let boys in. You're very right. The Girl Scouts have said as much. Just because one group does something that isn't right doesn't mean that the other one shouldn't. Two wrongs don't make a right. It's just crazy to think that something that has been so consistent in America for the last hundred years is now being torn apart by the progressive left. That statement can apply to anything that's been around in America for 100 years, like slavery, or women not being allowed to vote, or having cocaine and soda. We got rid of that last one. Damn you, progressive left! On a personal note, the Scouts have meant so much to me. I remember so many nights sitting around the campfire with my friends, surrounded by the darkness and awe-inspiring beauty of nature. The Scouts helped mold me into the person that I am today, and I'm thankful for it because I wouldn't have been welcome in the Boy Scouts. Shouldn't everyone, boy, girl, or anyone else, have the chance to grow to be physically strong, mentally awake, and morally straight? Scouts Honor, I really want to hear what you have to say, so comment below to tell us what you think.